In this video, we're going to talk about some of the best side hustles. So like and share this video. So yeah, you know, I get questions like this all the time. There's some people that have full-time jobs or maybe a part-time job and they're just not making enough money. So which is the main reason why I came online in the first place because I could never make enough money with my full-time job. I remember at, at, at one point, just before I came online, the amount of money I was being paid wasn't enough to even cover my bills at the time. So I was just looking for ways to supplement my income to make more money and uh, least amount of time wherever wherever this was on the weekends or after work or for me it was before work because i worked second shift at the time which was two to ten or three to eleven so i had whatever i wanted to do or had to do i should say i had to do it before it was time for me to go to work or i had to do it after i got off work which would be after 11 o'clock which would be tough sometimes because sometimes i'll be very i would be exhausted but you know i made it work i, I would do what I had to do before work and after work some days. And on the weekends, for the most part, I would be off. So I, I just figured it out and made it work. So one of the first things I did was um, I started buying stuff low and started selling it high. So what I would do, I would go to places like the thrift store, the... Um, Salvation Army. Um, I would, you know, maybe I bought something to, off Amazon and I, it was laying around and I knew I wasn't going to re, uh, read the book no more or, or you know, use the product no, anymore. So I would try to put it online and sell it. That's That's exactly how I got started. I mean, sometimes I would go to yard sales and some of this stuff you buy in the yard sale would be in the box, unused, basically. So I would, you know, I would try to sell this stuff. And at the yard sales, you know, the price is cheap, probably less than $5 in most cases. And I would try to sell it for at least 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 50 bucks, or how much I can get it for. And in most cases, it worked out. I made a profit. You know, I mean, if I bought something for $2 at a yard sale and I sell it for 40 bucks, that's a pretty good uh, ROI, return on investment. That's how I got started. I started putting stuff on, on back then, Amazon, eBay, and um, I'd, I'd done that for like uh, probably like five years and then I graduated and started selling books now during that time you gotta remember this is 2007 2008 9 Amazon was main, Amazon got started they were uh, known for books so <clears throat> what I what I would do is um, there's, there's some people in my local area would have these big CDs cases of um, audio programs with some people that were living, some people were deceased, but I knew these products were in demand and see, I would see people on Amazon trying to sell them. They would have them listed, right? So I knew where I was at in the community that I was involved with, I could triple the price, triple my profits 
So I would buy like a, a Ted Nicholas um, program, for example, which was 12, a 12 CD case of uh, the program was about being a copywriter and, and speaking in front of people. And I've done, I think I might have bought that thing for like 50 bucks. And I ended up selling it for $200. That's a pretty good profit, right? That's four, what, three, four times the profit. I paid 50 bucks, got 200. It was actually over 300, over 200 at the time. <clears throat> so I would look for things like that. And I would, it could be a book, could be a audio, video program, even a cassette tape. I would just continuously look for these things that I, that I had, I would have a good idea that would sell. Now, the majority of stuff did sell. Did I sell 100% of everything? Of course not. Not It's no 100%. It's nothing perfect. But that's how I got started. And you can do the same thing too. It doesn't take a rocket science to do this. Um, and the hardest thing about doing this is going to the post office to, to ship the product out when somebody buys. That was the hardest thing, really. But Amazon made it easy because, you know, when you go on Amazon and like there's like a resale button that they have and they make it easy. It's not really complicated at all. So that's how that's how I got started. <clears throat> and the second thing I started doing is if I find out somebody else would had a, like a, a product um, that they were selling or at least trying to sell. And maybe they couldn't, maybe they didn't have the reach. Or maybe they didn't know how to do it. Maybe they didn't know how to get in front of more people. What I would do is cut a deal with that person. I would help them sell their products to my people, the people that I knew at the time that I thought, of course, this has to be a good match. This has to, it has to be people that actually will be interested in whatever products or services they had at the time. So let's say the person was, a um, he helped people publish their own books. This uses that as an example. So I would tell this person, hey, every person that I introduce you to, and if you end up doing business with them, just give me 20%, 30%. Well, we just, we can, everything is negotiable, basically. Or, or you know, 40%, whatever, right? That, that's, and I started doing that, and I had a lot of success in doing that, you know? Now, you might ask, well, why would a guy or gal what a business or service why would they take me up on, on an offer like that why they have nothing to lose because they're going to get a new client new money i mean they just have to split the profits that's all you know i mean if i if 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 i never brought them a new client they wouldn't have gotten one you know, so they don't have to do anything. Only thing they have to do, I'm bringing the people in to, into his, office, his or her's office. So why wouldn't they do it? That's new money. That's new business, new client. And plus this new client can not only just publish a book, they might apply for other services as well. So that one client might be worth, I don't know, might be worth 10, 20, $50,000. But all I did is just introduce him one time. He paid me one time and that's it. The rest of the profits, I have nothing to do with. So it's, it's a win-win situation. So I did that. Um, I'm pretty much always been doing that. I still do that to this day. 
you know, I still look for people that need help, people that, you know, they they want a bigger audience or a different audience or a better audience of people. So I still help people do the same thing today. And they, you know, every time somebody buys into whatever products and services they have, they cut me, they throw me a little, a little profit in, in, in return down the line, you know? It's a win-win for everybody. Everybody wins. Nobody loses. You get they get a new client. I get a little a little money in, in, in return in in the back end down the line. A couple weeks, couple months later, however, they they, they want to pay out. You know. And now the other way I, I the other thing I started doing is doing what some people call an, an affiliate. Now, affiliate is, is a, a fancy word of saying, I'm going to, I'm going to sell somebody's product online and I'm going to register at a website. And after I'm done registered and once I get approved, there's links of every product in within that website. And I'm going to take that website link and I'm going to share it, put it on my blog, uh, a LinkedIn post, a YouTube, uh, you know, below my YouTube uh, video channel, whatever. You know, just Amazon does this. A lot of websites do this, you know. Now the percentages is, is usually low um, when it comes to Amazon. But other groups of people, uh, like people, ClickBank, ClickBank, I think it's like 80%. All right, it's really negotiable too. You know, everything's negotiable except for Amazon. Yeah, except for Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. I don't, I'm not sure if you can negotiate for Amazon. I doubt it, but everything is um, negotiable in these other um, affiliate programs based on my experience. So I started doing that strictly online and I still do that to this day. I have, um, you know, I do affiliate deals with people and have been doing them for 10 years now, you know, and this is not anything complicated. You know, you might have registered at an affiliate site, you probably, but you probably didn't, you might not call it an affiliate. You might call it a partner website or whatever, but it's the same. The whole idea is to basically share the link with an audience of people and you get a certain percentage when somebody buys, you know, and this is strictly online, by the way, this is not offline, you know, so it's strictly digital. That's the point I'm trying to make. So this, these are just some things that I, you know, I used to, I, I started off doing over the past, I've been doing this for the past 10 years and it's, uh, it's worked well, you know, and once you get good at this, once you have an audience, a following people that know, like, and trust you want to do business with you, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you don't really have to do much to, you know, to create new money. You know, so like, share this episode. Tell me what you think below. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. Down to Marco.